All right, guys, I had to bring out my uh, pulley puller to uh, get this bad boy off here. Um, it's, this motor is in pretty bad shape. This here is, yeah, I can uh, pull it right off. That's how bad it is. It's so far gone at it. It's not even funny yet. I had to get it off anyway, so. But yeah, it's uh, pretty rotted down in here. I was surprised I even uh, got that off. This is somewhat bent right here. I'm just hoping it ain't rotted down in there. It's definitely bad, guys. It's just, yeah. I didn't think it would be this bad, but he said it was sitting for many, many years. So, he was taking a guess. And he said uh, about 20 or 25. So, it was sitting not underneath a carport. So, it got a little bit of coverage, but. Not a whole lot, guys, so. Not a whole lot, as you guys can see. And then, there's mouse nest or something, or tide building a nest or something, I don't know. But, good news is, I got a coil just like that, which is sitting. There's a cord to it right there. And it is right there. So, bad news is, is the engine cover on the bottom is gone. I don't have a cover. Some covers are hard to find. So, um, basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to uh, try to get spark. If I can't find any spark, um, I'm gonna try the other coil I got. Try that. And if that don't work, I'm trying all that coil is good. Um, if that don't work, then uh, I'm not I'm probably not gonna put any money into it. Because I don't really have that much hope in this getting it running. So, probably a bad thing to say, but I don't know. Kind of got a bad deal here because I'm told it wouldn't take much to uh, get running, but the more and more I get into it, the more and more I see dollar signs. So, which the only reason I bought this was to uh, get running. I do a uh, not complete restoration, but a half a restoration on it, and turn around and resell it. But I don't know. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't know guys, but uh, I know one thing that freaking an animal tried to make it, or an animal had to place to live for a while. All that, all this crud in here, it's hard for me to get the blanket to unfreeze. So. Pull it off that way. Let me grab my uh, other glove here before I put my hand in that junk. It's actually supposed to have a glove on before I touch that metal, but oh well. I'll have uh, some swollen hands tomorrow. <laughs> and 
case you guys are wondering, uh, I'm allergic to metal, so pretty much every metal there is, so that's why most of the time you see me with gloves, so sometimes I just can't help it. I gotta have my hands free to get to some of this stuff. I just gotta deal with it the next day. So kinda like the Hulk. Yeah. Turn big, I guess you'd say. <laughs> but uh, I don't turn big when I get mad though. Just when I touch metal. So here's some some of the carcass of the uh, bottom of the uh, pan. Here's some more of it. Another thing is, I couldn't get that freaking bolt out of there. So, I'll try doing that too. If not, then I'll have to buy a new disc because it'll break it. I'm trying to force it out. I'm trying to get this mess out of here. It's in there good. It's more of the carcass of the bottom of that pan. Whoa. Yeah, I might just thought about just Putting on Craigslist and selling it as is. <sighs> Trying to make uh, back what I paid for it. I actually kind of kicked myself in the ass last night because uh, I should have just went and had and bought that Suburban instead of this. So at least that Suburban ran, but it didn't run pretty because it needed a carb rebuild, but. At least it ran under its own power. But I thought I've had some pretty damn good luck with these lately. I figured I could get this up and going and no problem. You know, within a couple days, but it's gonna take longer than a couple days. So it's gonna be a couple weeks. Hmm. Yeah, about a couple weeks because Right now I'm still cold broke, so. and uh, the guy that was supposed to come by that never came. He's ignoring my text, so I don't know what's going on. But it just seems like I get my, all my hopes up and plans to crash. need to stop doing it. It's gotta be my bad luck, but uh, I just wanted to keep excited about cool stuff. Today. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way. Yeah, I did paint the uh, cherry bomb, so. And it didn't look right with the uh, blue and white and black, and then have red. Not really a big fan of red, but. The only reason I painted the uh, custom six red, because it's the original color to it, so. And at the time it looked good, so. But, uh. I hate it now, because, like I said, I don't like red, so it won't take me long to hate stuff that I already hate more, I guess, if that makes sense. kind of makes sense to me, but sometimes it don't make sense to other people, so. <sighs> but.
can actually see the bottom now. For the most part. Oh, in the other video, if you guys were wondering what I was banging on, trying to get that uh, oh, grill on, it was this here because it was bent. So, I think the guy that had it before me tried to take it off and didn't realize that there was a bolt that went in there. Because these grill bolts were loose. Yeah, 120 bucks. Still in my house. I guess can't really bitch. Any other person would want three, four hundred bucks for uh, a tractor that don't run. And then, however much it be to deliver it. I guess I can't really match, but kind of am, but kind of not. Wish the Zippo or uh, Brian closer. I'd sell it to them. They're quite a few hours away. I'd say Brian, I think, I think he's over in Ohio. I think that's four or five hours and then uh, Indiana I want to say about a day I think or close to a day or something like that uh, maybe I don't know never been there so I don't really know I know Brian has but or, I think Brian's been there so I don't know I know Zippo has been over to Brian, so. so. Uh, <sighs> I really hate to part this one out because everything is pretty much there. So, unlike the other one, the other one was that uh, I parted out was missing a lot of stuff. So. But, uh, Everything was here, so the other one was missing key switch and whatnot and everything and this is you know got everything there so really hate to part it out. So. Yeah, okay. Came on came on wild it and uh, this bolt here is loose. I wonder why I was rocking back and forth when I sat on it. So. There. Stick it in the middle there. I stuck that in the middle so it didn't pop in the gear. So we tried to move it. So. I, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Supposed to be a panel. It goes right there, but I'm not too sure. But uh, kind of looks like there is, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Okay, it's been a while since I've had it. So. I got the camera in my hand, so it's okay. See the ground more than a little bit, and you know why. <laughs> but I got it cleaned up for the most part. I'll get the uh, compressor out tomorrow because I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but 
It is all cloudy out here. And it's sprinkling, so I know. I know the rain's gonna be coming here real soon, so. Need to start picking stuff up, so. But, uh, there's a bunch of dirt in here. So, especially right here. So I'm glad I put the uh, tarp down, so I caught all that. this big bad boy over some so I can uh, push her in or some I'll, I'll push her in backwards so, so if I need to work on it I can uh, work on it so well, it's coming down now so all right you guys I gotta let you go so I get this stuff picked up <laughs> 